Heritage units usually tend to go through many design changes before the design is finalized and sent to the paint shops. But for one of Ennis's iconic Heritage units, it had a controversial start that not many know of. 8104 was one of many ES44 ACs built for Norfolk Southern, being built at General Electric's Erie plant in February 2012. It was selected alongside some of its sisters to be a part of Ennis's upcoming fleet of Heritage units. It was decided for 8104 to represent the Lehigh Valley Railroad, which would be in a dark red livery, with yellow lining, and white stripes on the nose, like most of the Lehigh Valley's Alcos. It was first outshopped on April 24th, 2012, but something felt... off. The livery was completely different to how many people see it, as it had an inaccurate nose logo, inaccurate flag on the side, lack of a red frame, and a lack of nose stripes. This early rendition of the livery received controversy amongst rail fans, saying that the livery was inaccurate to how the Lehigh Valley was represented although it does bear some resemblance to some early Lehigh Valley diesels. Norfolk Southern spared no time getting the unit back into the shops and giving the unit a much needed makeover. Safe to say, the new delivery looks so much better compared to what it once was. Aside from that, 8104 still continues to operate with Norfolk Southern to this day. Starting in 2023, Norfolk Southern would begin to give their Heritage fleet new coats of paint, and 8104 will eventually be repainted in the not too distant future, so likely gonna get a new fresh coat of paint not too far out. Honestly, it's quite surprising that NS actually took the criticism and improved upon it in the end. And as a result, the outcome was for the better, and received a much better positive reception. Nowadays, the quality of Heritage units seem to dip. And whenever criticism is provided to the railroad companies, they tend to ignore it in favor of a rather mediocre-ish design. Times have changed, eh?